Are you there? Are you waiting for something today? A miracle. Healing. Deliverance. Signs and wonders. What are you there? Some that hands. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for this glorious opportunity. And we thank you for the glorious things we are going to do. We thank you for your power. We thank you for the authority. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you because we are going to open the heavens. We pray that you will do the impossible. You will cure the incurable. You will save every soul. You will drop believers to yourself. And those who are hearing over the transmission. As the anointing is flowing over here. Breaking every yoke over here. Everywhere they hear the sound of the word of God. Miracles will be happening there too. The night will be a special night. A glorious night. For everyone in Jesus name. Confirm your word in everyone. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus name we pray. Mark chapter 1 we're looking at verse 40. Mark Before I read the passage to you. You know Jesus Christ came to this world. He brought heaven to earth. He brought power to those who had no power. He brought deliverance to those who are prayed. And he brought some miracle power that they had never seen for hundreds and thousands of years. And Mark begins to record for us the things that God did and the things that Jesus did and the mighty power that was operated by the power of the Holy Ghost. And it is one of those stories I'm reading to you tonight. One of those events. And to remind you that Jesus Christ is still the same. Yes, Yesterday, today, and forever. And to bring to your notice that God says, I am God, I change not. And because he's the unchanging God, because is that same Jesus, yesterday, today, and forever. And because he's going to do the same thing in your life, that's why I'm coming to you tonight. Every miracle we're talking about will happen to you. Every challenge you brought here will be removed in Jesus' name. If you have your Bible there, it's in Mark chapter 1, verse 40. And there came a leper to him. And there came a leper to him. Study your Bible. Look at history. Look at everything that happened before this time. It is very rare that anybody having leprosy will come to a prophet. Yes, it happened between Naaman and Elisha. Hundreds of years before this time. But apart from that, look at the whole of history for a leper who knew that was incurable a leper who knew that once the problem came it was permanent to come to a man of God to come to a prophet to come to a servant of God it was like an impossible case but this man came and you have come I said you have come you have come for something are you there? I said you have come for something. That thing you have come for no matter how difficult tonight you are going to receive. And there came a leper to him. Beseeching him and leaning down to him. And saying unto him. If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. If thou wilt, thou can make me clean. He says all I want you know. If you want to. 
If you desire to, if you have the love for me, you want to touch me. I know there is nothing impossible for you. When you come with that attitude, when you come with that disposition, when you come with that mind, and you say, I know God loves me, He does not want me to continue to suffer. And if He wills, if He wants, if He desires, He can make me clean, He can make me whole, He can change my life, He can turn my life around, He can cleanse me, He can heal me, He can give me a miracle. If thou wilt, if thou wilt, if thou wilt, I know Satan, Satan cannot hinder you. If thou wilt, incurable disease cannot hinder you. If thou wilt, there is nothing in me that will stop you. He said he was affirming, he was confirming the almighty power of Jesus Christ. And he was saying, nothing can hinder Jesus. Tonight, there's an expressway between you and Jesus Christ. Miracle coming your way. I said miracle coming your way. Your background will not hinder Jesus. Satan will not hinder Jesus. Evil spirit will not hinder Jesus. Because a yoke in your life will not hinder Jesus. Whatever you have done in the past, whatever happened in the past will not hinder if thou wilt, if thou wilt, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus moved with compassion. Jesus is Jesus was moved with compassion. He was moved with love. He was moved with mercy. That mercy is coming your way today. That compassion is coming your way today. The love of God is coming your way today. He loves everyone. But God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That to so ever. That whosoever, that whosoever believes in him will not perish. I'm looking for somebody there who will not perish. I'm looking for somebody there who will not perish. Because Jesus has love. Because Jesus has compassion. And Jesus more with compassion. Put forth his son. And he touched him. And he touched him. And he touched him. Hold on. If you go back to the old covenant, if you go back to the time of Moses, the high priest must not touch a leper. The priest must not touch the leper. Ordinary person should not touch a leper. If you touch a leper, you become unclean. And if you don't want to become unclean, and be rendered useless, you cannot have any service anymore. You will not touch the leper. But Jesus, Jesus does not catch what you have, you catch what he has. He touches everyone. He touches the people that have contagious disease. And he doesn't catch their contagion. But they catch his hell. They catch his power. They catch his authority. It's going to touch you tonight. As we pray. And we mention the name of Jesus. A touch will come to that head. And that head that is boiling like boiling water. A touch is coming upon that head. That person that is mad and insane. The touch of Jesus is coming upon you. That tumor there that is your belly. The touch of Jesus is coming. That thing will vanish away. That cancer 
cancer will dry up. The blindness will go away. A touch from Jesus. I said a touch from Jesus. It's touching your life tonight. I said it's touching your life tonight. And when he touches you, all those evil things will vanish away. The miracle is coming your way. I said the miracle is coming your way. And he touched him and says, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken in verse 42, immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he was cleansed. Testimony time. I said testimony time. The Lord will touch you. Somebody there has a testimony. I said somebody there has a testimony. Tonight we thank God for our invitees. Invitees get ready. Testimony time. But it's not meant for invitees tonight. Members of the church. Workers in the church. Families in the church. Children in the church. Pastors in the church. Testimony time. Where are you? It's coming your way. It will happen. I'm talking to you tonight on the miracle of Christ's supernatural touch. The miracle of Christ's supernatural touch. There's always a miracle in the touch of Jesus. He touches you and you're cleansed. He touches you, your blindness is gone. He touches you and your incurable disease is gone. He touches you and your soul is saved. He touches you and he raises the dead. He touches you and the issue of blood will dry up. He touches the food and he raises plenty out of scanty. And then he turns misery into miracle. He'll turn your misery tonight. Your suffering tonight. Your sickness tonight. And and the power of God will get out of your life in Jesus' name. Very quickly, three things. Number one, the corruption and the confinement of lepers without Christ. The corruption and the confinement of lepers without Christ. Number two, the coming and confidence of a leper in Christ. The coming and the confidence of a leper in Christ. We were Leprosy corrupted that man. Leprosy corrupted his body. Defiled his body. And he was confined. Because leprosy brings confinement. And then he said, what will I do? Where will I go? I will not remain in this condition forever. A change must come. Somebody there, you will not remain in that condition. A change must come. He came to Christ and he came with confidence. You are coming tonight. And also you come. come with confidence. The coming and the confidence of a leper to Christ. Number three, the cleansing and the cure of lepers by Christ. The cleansing and the cure of lepers by Christ. Number one, the corruption and the confinement. The corruption and the confinement. Well, in the Old Testament, if you read your Bible, you'll find in Leviticus chapter 13, it talks about the leper. When somebody became a leper, and they look at the things spreading in his body, there was 
no cure. It was incurable. And because it was a contagious disease, they will confine that person outside the camp. It was a deadly disease. Regarded as incurable. It was a deadly disease. A corrupting effect of a disease. It corrupted the blood. It corrupted the veins. It even affected their bones. Eventually, the fingers will begin to chop off. Eventually, the toes will begin to get off. And because of that kind of corruption, affecting the blood and the bone and the skin, it was a terrible sin and it became worse and worse every time. Degenerating into rottenness. And so they'll put the person outside the car. Do you know that there's a, a reason there why they put the person outside the car? Because of the contagion, it will spread. It will go from A to B, from B to C, from D to E, and will be spreading all over the car. The rottenness. The the corruption, the defilement. That's the, the, the situation of the sinner. Actually, as we look at the Bible, you look at the leper, you look at the sinner. The sinner is like the leper. There's a leprosy of the soul. There's a leprosy of the life. There's a leprosy of the character. And it is contagious. It brings corruption. Corruption to the character. It brings defilement to the character. It brings evil to the character. And it's an incurable thing. As the leper could not cleanse himself. So the sinner could not save himself. Because sin is a moral decay. Sin is moral corruption. And sin is depravity there is rottenness there is defilement and then there's corruption and then there's contagion as you are there just stay there every drop of rain if it rains every drop of rain praise the, praise the Lord the miracle has come to me another drop of rain praise the Lord a miracle has come to me and I keep and I keep on counting I keep on counting count your blessing count the wonders count the miracle if you are hiding somewhere it has not come come out let it come on you and keep on counting miracles are coming I said miracles are coming I said miracles are coming it will be upon you in Jesus name moral defilement and moral corruption Look at the way Jesus said it. I'm reading here from Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7. I'm reading from verse 20. And he said, That which cometh out of the man defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murders, sex, covetousness, wickedness, and then he says deceit and lasciviousness and evil eyes blasphemy pride foolishness look at the conclusion of Jesus Christ look at the statement of Jesus Christ and see what the Lord is saying in verse 23 he says all these evil things all these evil things they come from within 
And they defile the man. They defile the man. They defile me. The defilement that comes upon the sinner. And as I told you, that contagious sin, that evil sin, that is causing, it is contagious. It is corrupting. And it brings confinement. That's why except your claims. That's why except your pulse. That's why except the blood of Jesus will wash you. Except that happens. What will happen? There will be a confinement forever and forever. You will be confined to hellfire. Because that's what God does for the leper. The sinner like the leper will be confined. Will be punished. Will be isolated. Will be cast out. Will be abandoned outside the camp if he's not cleansed and saved and set free. That's why, that's why that leper that leper was saying when I remain in this confinement forever I cannot go out I cannot mix with people I cannot interact with people because of that corruption because of that defilement and because of all the uncleanness and he said but what can take my leprosy away just like you are saying as a sinner defiled contaminated and then uh, you, you are corrupt and there's that evil sin and, and the depravity of that sin is coming from the very source of your life and you are saying what can take my sins away what can wash my sins away what can touch my life tonight what can cleanse my life tonight what can save my soul tonight. Thank God Jesus is your Savior. I say, thank God Jesus is your Savior. What are you? I said, where are you? The cleansing of the blood of Jesus will come to you. Forgiveness from the blood of Jesus will come to you. A total change. A total cleansing. A total realization of the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus will come to you tonight. And that's why he came. That's why he came. He said, who will I go to? If I go to synagogue, no, they don't heal the lepers in synagogues. If I go to religion, religion doesn't do this. Where will I go? Where will I go? And then he heard of Jesus. Jesus the Savior. Jesus the Redeemer. Jesus the Healer. Jesus the Deliverer. Jesus the Miracle Worker. Point number two, the coming and the confidence of a leper to Christ. Have you seen how it said in that passage? Look at that verse again, Mark chapter 1 verse 40. And there came, and there came, and there came a leper unto Jesus. Did he tell anything to hold him back? Did he tell anything to hold him down? Did he tell anything to stop his movement? I will go to Jesus. When you make up your mind, when you make up your mind, when you take an irreversible decision, I will go to Jesus. That decision will change your life. That Decision will change your destiny. That decision will cleanse your soul. That decision will save your soul. And that came a leper to Jesus. And he kneeled down unto him. He kneeled down to him. What was, why was he doing that? He said, I regard you as my God. I regard you as my Lord. I regard you as my master. I regard 
created you as a supernatural. Son of David, son of God. Son of man, son of God. You are going to change my life. He kneeled down to him. He submitted his life to him. He surrendered his life to him. I'm looking at somebody there today. Praise the Lord for that man. Praise the Lord for that woman. Oh, to Jesus, I surrender. Oh, to him, I freely give. And you come and you kneel before him. I don't need to idol anymore. I need to Jesus. I will not lead to idol worship anymore. I lead to Jesus. No other master. No other leader. No other captain. No other savior. But Jesus. But Jesus. He will be my savior. He will be my savior. He will be my savior. Jesus and Jesus alone. Jesus and Jesus alone. Jesus and Jesus only. Jesus and Jesus only. And he kneeled to him. Oh, and then as he came. Because he was. Whatever he was using before, whatever juju he had before, whatever he was robbing before, all that he threw away. He he said, Only Jesus. Only Jesus. We cannot have Jesus and idol. Ah, the Jesus at your Jesus and candle. Jesus at Abela. Jesus and incense. Jesus at Turari. Jesus and water in the bottle. Jesus at your mini Jesus and oil. Jesus at your roro. Jesus and whatever. Jesus at your control. Jesus and Jesus alone. So Jesus and Jesus Not Jesus and Mary. Not Jesus and Peter. Not Jesus and Peter. Not Jesus and Stephen. He came to Jesus. Only Jesus. He's your savior tonight. I said he's your healer tonight. I said he's your deliverer tonight. I looked at him. And he looked at him oh, and he said, Jesus, only Jesus be my Lord. Jesus, Jesus be my Savior. Jesus, Jesus be, my con be my controller. And if you will, be whatever you will is what I want now. If thou wilt, thou commence me clean. And when he came, he came with confidence. He knew, I'm coming to Jesus. I will not go back the same. I'm coming to Jesus. When I get back home today, and people see me, they will see I am clean. They will see I am killed. They will see I am healed. He said to somebody there today, the touch of Jesus, connection with Jesus, the power of Jesus. That's how the sinner comes. That's how the sinner comes. The one that has the leprosy of sin, the contagion of sin, the one that has all the defilement of sin. That's how you comes, I cannot save myself. I cannot make myself better. I tried, but I failed. The six, I didn't want to do, that's what I did. And the six, I have to do, that's what I cannot do. If I then do that which I don't want to do, I confess it is not me. But that dwelleth in me, oh wretched man that I am, oh sinful man that I am, Incapacitated and competent man that I am. Who shall deliver me and save me from this body of death? I thank my God. Because of Jesus Christ. Confidence in Jesus. What you could not do for yourself, Jesus will do for you. What Papa Mama cannot do for you, Jesus will do for you. And what religion cannot do for you? Yes, tonight, tonight, Jesus will do for you. Come and the confidence of the leper to Christ. He came. As we are coming tonight. And when you come tonight, you come with faith. You come with trust. You come with confidence. He will save your soul. I said he will save your soul. Because whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall come on the lame 
of the Lord shall be saved. But you know, that leper came. So, mama, he confessed, I am a leper. I need cleansing. As the sinner comes, he must confess, I am a sinner. I need salvation. I need forgiveness. I need a change. I need transformation. You see, as you come, and then you know your condition. Sinful, weak, sick, falling, and it's guilty, and it's a and it's a find outcast person. And it's not a so you're telling the Lord, oh, so for this is what you can do. We've been to only Jesus can say, oh, yes, Nicole, only Jesus can say, yes, Nicole, that religion cannot say, only Jesus can say, yes, Nicole, water from River Jordan cannot say, oh, Milati, or the Jordan, only Jesus can say, yes, Nicole, this man or whatever you bind on yourself cannot. Say, oh, and and you, come, you say, I cannot save myself. Oh, wow, wow, ni, eh, mama, kwenye, that that leprake, you say, my leprosy is deeper than my skin. Oh, ni, et, eh, mi, ji, jua, wala, mi, yes, it's on my skin. Be, ni, lo, to, lo, wala, but it's mi. deeper than my skin. Subo, ji, le, jua, la, the mi, leprosy has gone through every blood system. Et, eh, yi, la, go, go, the same thing of the sinner. Your sin is more than what we see on the outside. It's more than the stealing outside. It's more than bending down to idol outside. It's an issue of the mind. It's an issue of the heart. You see, did my mother conceive me? In iniquity was I born. He says, can the leopard change your skin? The leopard, can it change his skin? No, he cannot change his skin. And so are you. Because it's something of the heart. But the heart is depraved and deceptive. But when you bring it to the Lord, it says, I will cleanse you. Tonight, cleansing is coming to you. Tonight, salvation is coming to you. You cannot do it yourself. Oh, the that's what the sinner, that's what the leper realize. He said, there is no means on earth. There is no medicine on earth that can change my condition of leprosy. Only Jesus. And you know there is no condition on earth. There is no remedy on earth. And there is no means on earth that can turn your life around and take your sin away and give you the victory. And set you free. But thank the Lord. But thank the Lord. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Somebody there is getting free tonight. I said somebody there is getting free tonight. He will set you free. He will set you free. He will change everything in your life. And then you will be able to say, he touched me. He healed me. He saved me. He forgave me. He changed my life. He transformed me. Tonight is that night. I said tonight is that night. The touch of the Lord is coming on somebody there today. Where is the person there? I said where is the person there? Miracle of salvation. Miracle of deliverance. And miracle of healing. The miracle of redemption. See what the Lord did. Point number three now. The cleansing and the cure of lepers by Christ. The cleansing, the cleansing and the cure of lepers by Christ. It tells us, it tells us in verse 42. And as soon as he had spoken, as soon as he had spoken, immediately. Lord, you cannot. 
miracle is coming tonight. Immediately, the power of God is coming tonight. Immediately, your redemption is coming tonight. Somebody is getting saved there today. Forgiveness is coming somewhere there today. Redemption is coming somewhere there today. You will cleanse your sin. You will forgive your sin. He will save your soul. He will break the chain of sin in your life. There is something that only Jesus can do. Salvation. There's something only Jesus can do. Forgiveness. There's something that only Jesus can do. He'll take you away from the confinement of the leper. He will cleanse you. He will cure you. He will heal you. It's like you never got any leprosy in your life before. Like you never had any sickness in your life before. No deformity in your life before. Look at that man. It's like he was never blind before. Miracle time. I said miracle time. It's for you. I said it's for you. In that verse 42, as soon as he has spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him. Immediately, the leprosy departed from him. That's why I say, before we pray, check up what the problem is. If you are blind, check up. If you are lame, check up. If you are much back, check up. If you have arthritis, check up. If you have cancer, check up. If you have anybody that is mad, check up. And then I say, you raise up your hand. And you lay your hand the other place. And I say, when you hear the final amen, immediately something will register there. I said, immediately something will register there. Your miracle will come. Your miracle will come. Praise the Lord, I see you there. I see the flow of the power of God in your life tonight in Jesus' name. They will wipe your tears away. They will take your sorrow away. Confinement has come to an end in your life. As soon as he had spoken immediately, the leprosy departed from him and he was cleansed. And he was cleansed. Well, he's got his own. You are get, going to get your own. Let me read it now for you. Verse 42. As soon as Jesus had spoken, immediately the sickness departs from you. And you are killed. I can't hear my people. Immediately your sin departs from you. And you are saved. And you are saved. And you are saved. What a glorious Night, what a joyful night. A night of salvation. A night of cleansing. Because Jesus Christ has power. The power to cleanse. The power to kill. The power to heal. Whatever disease is tonight. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Tonight is your night. It is your turn to give your testimony. He has the power to deliver. Every power of evil is spoken away from your life tonight. He has the power to forgive and to save. The guilt will go away. Condemnation will go away. The punishment for sin will go away. He has the power to liberate and set you free. The sun therefore shall make you free. You shall be free indeed. You have the power to remove the curse out of your life. That curse that have been following you until this time. Tonight is that night. The curse is taken away. And it is going to happen immediately. Jesus has all power to transform sinners to save. And to transform a leper 
refer to a clean person. And then come back here now. Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1. And there came a leper to Jesus. Mark chapter 1. 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 It is your coming that draws the power of God into your life. And He came. And you come. And you come. And you come. I said that you come. And then the power from heaven will flow into you. And then the power from heaven will flow into your life. And then the power from heaven will flow into your life. And then the power from heaven will flow into your life. And then the power from heaven will flow into your life. And then the power from heaven will flow into your life. And then the power from heaven will flow into your life. And then the power from heaven will flow into your life. And then the power Give myself unreservedly unto Christ. He came and he knelt down. Oh, well, you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Redeemer. You are my Deliverer. You are my Healer. As you come, 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 as you The Lord is saying, if you will come to me, I will cleanse your life. I will change your life. He will write your name in the book of heaven. Book of life in heaven. And then all the confinement, everything will be over. As bowed and eyes closed. If you want to come like this leper king, you're coming for salvation. You're coming for forgiveness. You're coming for change. Change of life. You say, Jesus, you're the only one that can save me. And I come, I come. And you come with confidence in Christ. If you are coming to Christ, you raise up your hand. It's going to change your life now. It's going to forgive your sin now. It's going to cleanse you now. It's going to bring eternal life unto you now. If you're raising up your hand,
right here. You're coming to Christ. You're taking the step of faith. You're saying, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Come with your leprosy. Come with your sin. Come with that defilement. Come for salvation. Come for cleansing. Come for coming. Leave that place where you are. Take the Bible. Take the Bible. Take whatever you brought. Come. Come. He came. He came. He came to Jesus. Why don't you come right now? Why don't you come right now? Lord Jesus, I come. Be my savior. Lord Jesus, I come. Be my redeemer. Lord Jesus, I come. Be my savior. I surrender my heart. I surrender my life. All this defilement in my life. You will cleanse everything away. You will cleanse everything away. Come, come. And come like he came. Come, 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 come like he came. Come, come for cleansing. Come, come for forgiveness. Come, come, come for a change of life. And come with confidence. I know. I know. I know. Jesus will make me clean. Jesus, you wear me now. I know. Jesus will forgive me. Yes, your daddy Jimmy. I know. Jesus will change my life. Yes, your yeah yeah. My father is waiting for you. Ma, don't draw the. Don't stay behind. This your day of salvation. Ma, draw so where you. Ni lo jog balare ma bo. It is your day of the spectacular. On your joy say ya no re. It is your day of the supernatural. On your joy say ya no re. Don't allow anything to hold you back. Ma, je kong kong kodi or say where you. Don't allow anything to hold you back. Ma, je kong kong kodi or lo say you. Leave your darkness behind. Fi bo bo kukunre say you. Leave all that religion behind. And leave all the bragging of I'm this. I'm that. Leave all that behind. I come to Jesus. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can forgive. Only Jesus can change your life. Only Jesus can cleanse you. As you come, close your eyes. And visualize Jesus in presence of you. In, in, in the front of you. I see Jesus. I surrender my life to you. Jesus, Jesus, I give myself to you. Jesus, Jesus, I take you as my savior tonight. This is the moment of my forgiveness. This is the moment of my salvation. This is the moment of my change of life. So I tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I will not go back home the same. Forgive my sin. Change my life. Give me eternal life. Let that salvation come to me right now. It will touch you. Immediately it will touch you. Have that faith, have that trust, have that confidence. Immediately it will touch your life. In Jesus' name we pray. You pray after me now in English. And if uh, you are speaking our language, you'll pray after my fellow minister after I finished. So you say what I say. Are you ready? And you say from the depth of your heart. Are you ready? Lord Jesus, I come today. I come to you. I confess. I confess. I am a sinner. I'm just like the leper. I cannot cleanse myself. I cannot save myself. But I know you, Jesus, will save me. Jesus will save me. I come. I trust. I believe. I am confident. You will forgive me today. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. To take my sins away. Your blood will wash me. Your blood will cleanse me. I accept that forgiveness now. I accept the forgiveness now. I accept that cleansing now. I can't hear you again. I accept that cleansing now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am forgiven. Thank you. I am cleansed. Thank you. I am saved. In Jesus' name I pray. 
by how bad run ye, a dear binny be what needs to see ye. Was a way, just so lua Modupe Lawore Motiwala leji Kegabi a lesser Kegabi a debt at the Colinara de Lawar Sugamoto a wafwa, no a tokewa Moto a wafu we no more Moto a wafu daddy jim Kyo daddy jimmy Kyo we me no Kyo saw me di oton Kyo day be a yo to see no a ye me Latin sissy ye law Agbara lati bori eshe. Agbara fun igbe ayi otun. Agbara fun igbe ayi ododo. Wa fi fun mi. Mo dupe ni tori po oti she. Ni oru ko jesu ni mo gba dura. And everybody said. Raise up those hands of surrender to the Lord. Bo gwe yon yon si she. Ami. Ena wo yon soke keke bi ami. Father in the name of Jesus. Baba ni oru ko jesu. I thank you for all those who have come to Jesus. Mo du pen to yon bo gwa. Mato to jesu wa. And they came with confidence. Ti wo wak pa lui dani lo ju. That Jesus will cleanse them. Yon pe jesu yon wo yon. That he will save them. Pe yon gba mo la. That he will change their lives. Pe yon ya ya mo pa da. Lord I pray. O lu wa mo gba ti ra. Give them the touch of salvation. If your way gba la kan wo. The touch of cleansing. Your way we no mo. The touch of forgiveness. If your way gba la kan wo. And let your spirit be a witness in Yes, they came. Me, you call Jerry. That's what I said. Their prayer. We get it down. What drama? You have saved them. You have cleansed them. Let that change be visible in their lives. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Praise the Lord, it has happened. That's salvation. That's forgiveness. That's cleansing. You have the joy of that salvation and the peace of mind right now. Our counselors are there. Counselors just want to know you that you have given your life to Christ for cleansing, for salvation. And they will give you a slip of paper. Right on. All the details there. After you are finished, you'll go back to sit down. And then the miracle prayer will come. After the rest of us who are watching, the one waiting is your miracle day. It's your day of healing and deliverance. We're calling on our pastor to help us now with this counseling session. You are waiting for miracle. I said, Praise the Lord. Because Jesus will never fail. And Jesus will not fail you tonight. The power of Christ is coming your way. Those blind eyes must open. That lame person must rise up and walk. The pain of arthritis must leave that place. The deaf must hear tonight. And the dawn must speak tonight. Whatever miracle you need. The miracle of the touch of Jesus Christ. Anybody wanting a miracle then? And remember now it's for everybody. Our invitees, God bless you. I praise the Lord for you. A miracle is coming your way. Our members and workers praise the Lord for you. Today is your day a miracle has come for you. Our leaders, men and women, praise the Lord. You must have your share tonight. You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand where the problem is. And then when you hear the final amen. I see the miracle already. Raise up that 
touch and no one yes okay in jesus name baba ni oruko jesus we bless your name a fi ibuku for oruko yin you are the same yesterday today and forever okan ni lana lo ni ati ti lai lai you are the god who cannot fail you are the god who has not changed and your people are waiting for you and your people are waiting for you awe eyan yin si dro de yi and your people are coming with confidence awe eyan yin bo pelu igboya knowing that all power belongs to you nitori pe won mo pe gbo agbara je ti yin i bring everyone before you tonight o wa mu gbo eyan to yin wa la le yi miracle for everyone o lu e se eya nu fun gbo eniyan for everyone he was a fun gbo eniyan he runs for everyone he done the fun gbo eniyan for me every life in jesus name e fi ese re mo le ninu aye nikan kan loruko jesus i command that spirit of insanity mo pa se in jesus name mo pa se fun emi sinu yen jade ni oruko jesus that madness i command you come out in jesus name e mi were yen jade ni oruko jesus that spirit of epilepsy e mi wa la pa you have no right to remain there oh la to lati wa ni be the power of christ comes against you agbara christ ta ko e epilepsy come out in jesus name e mi wa la pa jade ni oruko jesus that leprosy and skin disease e te ati arun ninu ago ara be cleansed and be cured right now in jesus name ba iwo san ko de ja lara mi mo ba iloruko jesus from the top of your toe to the tip of your toe lati atari re titi de kan na se re receive that cleansing receive that healing ba iwo so yen ba yi be cured in jesus name ba i mu lara da loruko jesus any horrible disease there gbogbo arun ko gbo to ba wa ni be i pray lord the lord will touch you right now oluwa mu gbadu pe ke fowo kan won ba yi lord touch them oluwa e fowo kan won lord touch them oluwa e fowo kan won the horrible disease be cured in jesus name anu ko gbo gun ba iwo so ba yi loruko jesus lord i pray for those who have any swelling in their body oluwa mu gbadu pe amoti kan kan wula gwa ara won swelling on the chest area in to wuni aya won swelling at the back o to wuni eyin swelling in your leg o to wuni ese swelling any other part ibi kibi ti kan ko wu si agbara re swelling come out in jesus name mo gba do bi pe in to wu yan ko po ra bayi loruko jesus i pray for those who have cancer oluwa mo gba fa won to ni jelo je gun lord healing as come oluwa iwo so ti de lord healing as come oluwa iwo so ti de i command that cancer be healed in jesus name mo pa se fun arun jelo je gun yan gba iwo lara da loruko jesus i pray for the people that have mo gbara fun awon to ni ipake come out in jesus ipake jade loruko jesus be healed in jesus name by was on this you loruko jesus that is your blood coming from any part of the body isun eje to wa ni hakika ninu agbara re i command that is your blood dry your pride now mo gbara pe ki isun eje ye ko gbe bayi ise iya nu ise iya nu be healed in jesus name by was on re bayi loruko jesus god i pray for those who have dim eyesight oluwa mo gbara pe awon to ju won se bayi bayi awon to fun blind awon to fun ju they have glaucoma but your money is back there that be on kokoro so so do one deepness and blindness come out in jesus name go gbadura you pe owusu wusu oju yin ati oju to fa ye gba mo san be open oju to fa la and begin to see go bless you rin on ba yi the formation that i lord touch them and make them see in jesus name go gbo abuku to wa ninu eyin oju yin gba iwo san ba yi go bless you rin on lord god jesus mo gbara pa mo to ya odi ati aditi odi ati aditi ko po ra eti to di yen ko po ra to hear go bless you born begin to speak go bless you soro dad Oluwa mo gbara fun gbogbo eniyan o gbara ni ko fun eniyan o gbara ni spirit is possible o se se ni si se se ni si 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 se 
mountain move mountain move Lord everywhere everywhere to the left everywhere to the right everywhere at the back everywhere in the front everywhere brothers and sisters everywhere for everyone believe me deliverance miracles power deliverance setting free blessing confirming in every life Every I praise the Lord, it has happened. I say praise the Lord, it has happened. I say praise the Lord, it has happened. Check up yourself. Yeah, you you that miracle there. See the miracle there. It has happened. You have the testimony already. You the one to give that testimony tonight. Check up, check up, check up. Check up on them. Miracles are there already.